welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. I'm Big Daddy. Thank you for stopping by and visiting with us today. It is St. Patrick's Day. Whatever you do for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> We've never done anything for St. Patrick's Day, so I don't know. I don't even think our town has a parade or anything nope. for St. Patrick's That's Day. Absolutely nothing. So... But I did tell Big Daddy to look up a poem to read to you guys. And so he has found this poem for St. Patrick's Day to read to you guys. So here we go. It says, may those who love us, love us. Uh, and for those who, who don't love us, uh, may God turn their hearts. And if he cannot turn their hearts, may he turn their ankles so we know them by their limping. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I love that little poem. I used to post it back in the day when I was on Facebook. I used to post that all the time for St. Patrick's Day. Back in the day. Back in the day when I used to be on Facebook. <laughs> I haven't been on Facebook in years. You know, like as an active participant on there. What are you drinking? Hot cocoa, of course. Hot cocoa. I am drinking Stone Cold Butter Crunch. Crunch. Okay, this is my first taste of it. I was trying to let it cool off just a little bit. Oh boy. That is really good. That is one of the cake cups that Lisa has sent me. Hold on a minute, Phoebe wants to come. Girl, you have to help me nowadays, okay? I can't pick you up. Lisa had sent me a um, variety pack of K cups from Amazon by Two Rivers. And so that is one of them in there. And it's really good. I just got a silk, but it's still pretty hot. Quiet. <laughs> Needy. She loves him so, so She's much. Needy. She loves her daddy. He don't love her. <laughs> so she don't know who her daddy is. She love her daddy, don't you? You love your daddy? Where's your daddy at? When he drives up in the evenings, I'll say, here's daddy. And, oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> she goes barking and carrying on and howling. Ready to see her daddy. Squealing. And when he comes in, he can't stand it because he has his ear, his uh, hearing aids in. And it's just, you know, turned Super up and squealing loud. and, yeah. So, anyway, Phoebe Weeby. <laughs> oh, I heard your mama's <clears throat> baby. But I think she loves him more than she does me. If you want to know the honest truth, she prefers to go to him. Like, she wants to go to him. And at night, she wants to get over on him. Right up in my face. Yes. Right up in my face. Oh. Oh, her daddy got her. And she likes to rub that head, her head in his beard. <laughs> oh, baby. No licky licky. No, no. No licky. She's a sweet girl. She's so sweet. Sport rotten. Yeah. She's like you. Uh, so it is a rainy day here. But that's okay. We weren't planning on going anywhere anyway. <laughs> We're home for the day. It's, and It's Sunday, so yeah. Enjoying the rain. So anyway, <clears throat> um, what kind of weather are you having? And um, all this, we've had some warm, beautiful, beautiful days, like in the 80s and mm -hmm. the low 70s, upper 70s. And we've had some beautiful weather. But this next week is going to be kind of cool. We're going to go through our last little cool snap. Yeah. We always have a little cool snap at Easter, and then it starts warming on up, so. Yep. Uh, then, 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 then springtime's over with. Yeah, then it goes straight to summer. Summer, yeah. We go from winter, we have about two weeks of spring, and then it goes straight into summer. It'll We've, be 100 degrees, 99% humidity uh, out there. <laughs> We've already got mosquitoes out. You can uh, swim through the air. Yeah, we've already got mosquitoes and all kinds of bugs. The pollen is really getting to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> so in yesterday's video, there was a clip of Dakota at the bakery. And some people who are, you know, new, because there's a lot of new people here, was asking me some questions about that. And so that is a bakery that Dakota works at called Baker 318. Um, I don't know how long he's been there. I don't know. A few years now. It was right before the pandemic started. No, it was after. He worked through the pandemic. At, uh, I thought I thought she like shut down. Because she, she had interviewed him. No. No. Uh, uh, he worked at PetSmart through the pandemic. Oh, well. And then, I don't know where he's been. Oh, well. <laughs> he worked at PetSmart as a manager at PetSmart all through the pandemic. I guess I dreamed that part. Huh? And then, um, then he worked at <laughs> the restaurant. <clears throat> then he worked at Paris. Okay. For a long time, for a few years, until we got run down there. And um, then he applied with this lady that owns the bakery, and they hit it off right away. She loves Dakota. Dakota loves her. He loves working with her. And um, she. I mean, they clicked right away, and I was a little bit jealous. <laughs> I never said that out loud. <laughs> I was a little bit jealous. I feel like she stole my friend. But anyway, um, they clicked right away, and they get, they get along great. And so, and they kind of have the same sense of humor and, you know, everything. So, he loves it there. But anyway, his channel name for his... Um, YouTube is Gone with the Whisk, and that is linked below in the description box under the video. If you just scroll down, there's a little place to... Oh, licky. Uh, there might be a little error or something over there, or see more, or something like that. Mm. Or you can click and read some links. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of links under there. I don't know if anybody ever sees them. But anyway... So, yesterday, we ended up going to town. Remember, we needed to get groceries. Because, I'll, I'll being very, very honest here, we have not bought groceries in months and months. But remember, I've had a lot going on. I've had surgery in December. It took me a while to get over that. It, and then I had just issues going on. And then, you know... Florence. Bye-bye, Florence. <laughs> so, I've had a lot going on, and we just have not went and bought, like, a whole grocery haul. We've mm -hmm. just been getting milk, eggs, butter, something for the his basics. lunches. Yeah. Yeah, just very, just the, the basics, basics, you know, not and not stocking up on things we were using. We had groceries. We had groceries. Yeah, we we weren't doing without. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> we were just using what we had here. And not restocking as we were using things. And if you go a couple months doing that. <laughs> you use everything up. <laughs> you use everything you have. And so that's what was that's what had happened. Is that we just kept using our pantry. And picking up, you know, a few basics. Here and there. And um, we just ran out of everything. And then when you run out of everything in your pantry. <laughs> You have to go to a grocery haul. I'm talking a haul, okay? So, we went, uh, we, we ordered online this morning. I finally got him in there and sat down and told me everything he wanted. So, we got that order in. And then, we waited a while. We went to town and ran a couple errands beforehand. We went to Dollar Tree. I took some clips of that, so I'm going to show y'all Dollar Tree here. Let me see, where do I need to put that in at? At 9.20. <laughs> hey friends, let's go to Dollar Tree and find stuff that we don't need. <laughs> no, I'm actually going for stuff that I do need today, that I need around the house. So here we go, let's go see what we find. Right off the bat, here's some Easter stuff for Easter baskets. So, looks like they have a good selection of different things for Easter baskets. Candy, and there was more candy around on the other side. Lots of candy. 
I didn't see a lot of flavored peeps there like I had seen before because I think I got some of ours there. But I did end up getting Zeke some at Walmart. Some for his family. Anyway, lots of candy. Fill them Easter baskets. There comes Big Daddy. <laughs> He's so silly. So we're just walking around looking to see, you know, what all there is. And getting a few clips for you guys. I know it's not like just focusing on items. and, But, I mean, there's lots of lots of things for Easter baskets and just little surprises. So I was just giving you a little glimpse of what they might have. Both sides of the aisle there was all Easter. Lots of cute Easter signs. I didn't need any of that kind of stuff so I just kind of walked past it quickly. I didn't need it because I've already bought it from there. <laughs> Some gnomes stuff. And then this aisle has candy down one side and little toys and trinkets and all kinds of things down the other side. So I didn't need either either and anything from either side. So I just kind of walked on past. And then some St. Patrick's stuff, which is today. Happy St. Patrick's Day. More Easter. I did stop and get one of those yellow peeps, though. The big yellow um, plastic peep, and it's got different size peeps on the inside. I did stop and get one of those because I had been wanting them, and they kept being was out. Our Dollar Tree does have a large food section from candy to nuts and crackers to canned foods and just all kinds of stuff. And, you know, a lot of name brand stuff that would be at Walmart. Also, you can, we can also find at Dollar Tree for $1.25. And if it costs more than that at, Dollar, at Walmart, then it's a deal. But if it costs less than that at Walmart, not so much a deal. You just have to know your prices. And we do always check the spices and seasonings and things like that to see if there is something that we're out of that we need to get. And I was actually looking for a caramel syrup here and did not ever find it. I think it's a different Dollar Tree that I have found that at before. There's the... um. Not the white muffin mixes, the same that they sell at Walmart. Some name brand, you know, some brands are not name brand, but some things are. So we're just looking around to see, and then they have all kinds of drinks there. Big Daddy's actually at the other end, because he stopped to get some things for lunches. And then you see they have a little cooler section. Sometimes if we're on our way home, we will pick up a few things from that. And then they have lots of um, canned soups and stuff. And soup has went up at Walmart, let me tell you. So sometimes Dollar Tree is the best buy. Lots of empty shelves I noticed today throughout the whole store. I was noticing lots of empty spaces. And empty shelves. Sorry, I yawned. <laughs> it is the middle of the night. And then I was just looking to see um, what all they did have. I was kind of looking for some hand towels. I know those are not the most, or not absorbent hand towels. But I was looking to see if they had any that would just match my kitchen. I did end up finding something, some eye covers for a stove for Dakota. And then we met him later in the day and forgot to give them to him. Some more juices and such. 
Ziploc bags. I did need to get Ziploc bags, so got those. I needed some for storing things in, and Big Daddy needed some for sandwiches for lunches. So we got two boxes. And we're just looking around to see what else they have that we need. I knew I needed some napkins. I always buy those napkins at Dollar Tree. And then I buy paper towels at Walmart. And I just like to have those napkins. Because, you know, they're cheaper than paper towels. <laughs> okay, and then so we enjoy walking around Dollar Tree. I enjoy walking around Dollar Tree. He was probably in pain, hurting. But I did like to walk around because I hadn't just walked around. Usually I just run in, I'm grabbing something and then run back out. And then, but we walked around today and um, I got to see. I don't know. We didn't really buy. We bought things that we needed today. We didn't really buy like dunk stuff. I mean, yeah. normally I'm just buying stuff I really don't even need. But today we bought stuff we needed, yeah. like you know. But anyway, and then we went to, what was that next? Five Below. Oh, I run in Five Below because I was looking for something that I've seen online, but my store doesn't have it in stock yet. So I'm going to keep checking back. <laughs> and maybe when we go to Shreveport, I can check their Five Below oh, Lord. and see if they have it. And if they have different things than my five below. Because everybody's got different things. Some things okay. aren't, huh? Okay. Some things aren't um, available at, at my store, but it is somewhere else, you know. But anyway, then we, then we went to Ollie's. Mm -hmm. Big Daddy got his chips he's addicted to. And... <laughs> Where are we get it all? We got uh, chips, your cereal. chips, uh, some cereal. We always look, they have some unique cereals. He did find some more lemon Cheerios. Mm -hmm. Um, not a book, yeah. He got a World War II plane book, mm -hmm. airplane book, the aircraft of World War II. I'm trying to think what else we even got there. I don't know. <clears throat> We got a lot of like food items there and seasonings. If you need seasonings, and um, they have the big canisters oh, yeah. for like oh, this is great for that. two fifty, three fifty. I mean, you know, those big canisters of seasonings and stuff can be like ten, twelve dollars or more. Mm -hmm. But at Ollie's has them. I mean, not every season there could be seasoning there could be, but they do have a lot. And, and it changes from month to month. So. Yeah, and they, it changes. They have different things. Like, you might go this today, and the things they have, they won't be there when you go next week. It'll be different things. So, um, but that is the place to look if you're looking for, you know, seasoning that you use a lot, and you just want to go ahead and buy a big one. You can get it there for cheap. Yep. Good stuff for cheap. Ain't yep. that their slogan? That's their slogan. <laughs> Yeah, and then we went to Walmart, but we did have to go inside Walmart because I had a few things to pick up that I didn't put on the shopping curbside pickup. Yeah. So we picked up some things um, inside the store. Big Daddy was hurting. He mm -hmm. was hurting by then. I don't walk him too much. His knees was hurting. But then we um, finished up that and then rode around to the side of the store and got our order. What? <laughs> we went to the side of the store and got our order then and it, it was a lot. Yeah. It was, that poor man. So then we're like, how are we getting this in the house? Yeah, like, for look, real. Got to look at it all. It was like, oh Lord, I got to tote all this in the house now. And his knees were already so hurting. So, and then what we normally do is he brings it to the doorsteps and then I get it and bring it in. But that's really getting hard on me. Like, you gotta have, <laughs> you gotta have some fingers to be able to pick stuff up, okay? <laughs> and 
um, plus I'm not, I don't want to pick up anything too heavy because I don't want to put too much on that, you know, and it come open or anything like that. <clears throat> and I find that when I'm using my pinky, anytime I'm trying to use that pinky, it just puts a whole cramp in my whole hand. So, I don't know. He hasn't got strong enough. Yeah, yet, I don't know if it's not strong enough or what, but it, it hurts a lot. I mean, it's hurting right now just because it's numb. Um, feeling tingling and all. But anyway, um, so I went ahead and I texted Zeke's mom and asked her, was Zeke available to help us get groceries in the house? Please! <laughs> and she texts back, yes, he is. Did y'all want to pick him up or do y'all want us to bring him to your house when you get home? I thought we'd pick him up and then, um, and we'd bring him home, you know. So we stopped and picked him up on our way home. He is lickety split back and forth, getting those groceries, mm -hmm. putting them in a wagon and pulling them up to the house and bringing them in. And then, um, he helped put away after he got everything in, he was helping me put stuff away too. And then I had him to, um, go ahead and scoop the, cat boxes, the litter boxes while he was here and he swept um, a couple rooms for me. And good then, little kid. Yeah, he's a good kid. And then um, I paid him for helping and everything and then Big Daddy took him home. And what did he say to you when you took him home? Thank you for letting me come down. <laughs> he always tells us thank you. We're like, no, thank you. Yeah. He don't realize how backwards. Yeah, he just does not realize how much he helps us. Yeah. He really does. I mean, he's he's such a big help. That's why, you know, I'm more than glad to pay that kid and for helping. He's like, You pay me too much. I'm like, No, I don't <laughs> How I mean, many of you heard a kid say that? Yeah. He's a really good kid. And so, we're thankful for him. Anyway, I was going to try to crochet on this blanket. But you know what? I have, I've always crocheted on it laying, with it laying down on the um, my desk. I've never crocheted on it trying to hold it up. And I just don't think I can. Don't worry about it. Huh? Don't I just don't about. really think I can. But I'll crochet on it while this video is uploading. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, it is growing. Let me pull my stitch out so I don't lose my place there. I mean, so my stitches don't pull out. But it is growing. Um, that's how much we got done so far. So inch by inch. How many are you going to make it? I, I'm going to put all that into it. Then mm -hmm. I'm going to measure it. And if it's not quite big enough... I have another stain of that, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you're gonna make it. It's just one of those bitty baby. I know, but you don't want the baby to just outgrow it so fast. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm putting a lot of work into this. I want them to use it. <laughs> I don't want them to use it for a week. Um, yeah, I want them to be able to use it for a while. Mm -hmm. So, okie dokie. I, I think I'm gonna crochet on it this whole month. I mean, I, half the month is gone, so I've got about, what, two more weeks, maybe? Yeah. A good week and a half, so I'm just going to find me some shows to watch. I know, like, tonight some of my um, shows will come on. Tracker, True Detective. What? They're making new episodes. I don't know. Is True Detective yeah, over? It ended. I wonder why a new episode didn't come out this past week. I was like... <laughs> I had a new episode in a couple of weeks now. I knew a new episode didn't come out. And I was looking to check and see if it was out. And I asked Angela, I was like, why wouldn't... It? She don't watch that one. I said, why wouldn't a new episode come out? And she said, I don't know. I don't know what was going on. She said, maybe some kind of the Grammys or something. I don't know. She said, maybe it didn't come on because of that or something like that. Yeah. It's done. <sighs> Okay, the <laughs> tracker. Have you watched mm -hmm. Tracker? It's on, I believe, Prime or Paramount Plus. I don't mm -hmm. know, but it's really good. It's a good show. So, I'll find me some episodes. I got plenty of episodes of shows I could watch sitting there waiting on me. And I'm just going to crochet and crochet and crochet on this as fast as the little fingers will go. <laughs> 
so I can get that done. I told everybody yesterday that you got a new car. Finally. Yes. <sighs> when did your truck break down? October, November? Yeah, well before Christmas. Yeah, it must have been like October-ish. Reckon? When did Elijah move? In November? He moved at the end of November. Because they, cause they, cause they were wanting to move some stuff out of his house to Dakota's and it, it was yeah, down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I think it was yeah. I think it was probably around the end of November at least. In I mean, October, October. Yeah. yeah, at least. Anyway, oh, I did want to tell you this that um, Zeke, when we were in Walmart, we went in to pick up a few things. I got the Peeps, the flavored Peeps for Zeke's family, so they could do their own little taste test. So I found five of them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found five of those flavors at Walmart. So, I got those packages for Zeke's family. So, I'm sure he'll tell me all about it in the oh, next yeah. few days. <laughs> um, actually, his mom's already texted me and asked me if Zeke could hang out with me Tuesday. And if her husband's going to be out of town working. So, she needs somewhere for Zeke to go Tuesday morning. Yeah, and yeah. somewhere for Evie and Zeke to go Thursday morning. So, I'll have fun with them. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm sure they'll tell me all about the peeps soon. <laughs> but, um... Oh, yeah, back to his car. So, yeah, I'm very thankful that we finally was able to just bite the bullet and get him a car. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard when you have all these different doctor's appointments and he works an hour away and he just can't take off and take off. His work has been very nice about it. They've never said anything. But I'm sure there's somebody there saying, Jody's off again. I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm sure they have an Angela working there. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> he's off again. It's Friday. Every he's going go to Every time I go to his office, his lights off. <laughs> right now, he is having to take off every other Friday to take me to Shreveport. Yeah, I'll do that. But then, um, but then when you have appointments during the week and, you know... I don't want to take advantage. Yeah. And I mean, not that we are taking advantage because it is a doctor's appointment, but I don't want them to think we're taking advantage of it or anything like that. I mean, I just, I just worry about that. <laughs> but they've been real nice about it. And they haven't said anything. I mean, he does have vacation days. Yeah. Or sick days or whatever. We haven't taken a, I haven't taken a vacation I know. in years. We haven't taken a vacation since... Actually, since Dakota graduated high school. Yeah, I mean, we used, I used them all up on you. He usually takes <laughs> vacation days, like when I have surgeries mm -hmm. or something like that. Oh, oh, I love her daddy. Yeah, she's a mess. But anyway, so we're very, very happy and that he got a vehicle and he can go. And I feel like I have this freedom back again. And Zeke <laughs> was so happy also. He said, now we can go places again. <laughs> I told him, yes. He loves for me to take him to Target so he can look at Legos. Mm -hmm. um, or, or, you know, Walmart even to look at Legos. Because, I mean, there's seven of those kids. Can you just imagine taking seven kids to the toy department and them all wanting something? <laughs> so his mom tries not to do that. And I don't blame her. I totally understand that that would be a lot, you know, when you have seven children and they all run the toy department wanting something, so they don't do that, but I just kind of leisurely walk around and let him look, and, you know, if I go look at something else, I say, okay, I'm going right over here. If you need me, I'll be right there, you know, but anyway. What? <laughs> Oh, goodness. Company for you. Yes. He has a lot of company for me. And me and him had plans to go and do some photography type stuff before Big Daddy's truck broke down and I lost my car. <laughs> lose your car. I did lose my car. <laughs> I didn't have it. You did. You got it back now. I have it back, so. 
yeah, me and Zika get back to our plans, as he said, and we can do the things that we want to do. Mm -hmm. As long as his mom's okay with, yeah, you know. <laughs> if y'all could see her feet, she's just laying. She has her feet curled around like this. She's just laying there, all comfortable, in her daddy's arms. <laughs> baby, are you daddy's baby? Are you daddy's baby or mama's baby? Hmm? Where's she at? Huh? Where's she at? Who? Oh, I know. <laughs> Phoebe, Phoebe. He's a mess. Anyway, guys. um, Somebody asked me about Premier Protein that I drink. And so they were asking me, is there any other brands that I drink too? I can drink any of those, like Boost or... Yeah, I mean, I can drink any of them. Yeah. I don't have a restriction on what I can drink. It's just what this takes down. <laughs> but, yeah, I can usually drink those. Any Anything like that. What is it, baby? Uh, and then somebody asked who is Miss Curry. Because I had mentioned that Miss Curry offered to um, take me to my doctor's appointment. But we had rearranged some, canceled, <laughs> rearranged appointments so they weren't all in the same week and so somebody said well, who is miss curry and so <laughs> hey miss curry miss <laughs> curry watches all my videos i appreciate her so very much and um she has been in my and kids lives for a long long time i don't know well i don't know i was trying to think i don't know how long they've been doing the pumpkin patch they have a christmas tree farm um not too far from our house, about what, 20, 20 miles? Not even that far. I don't know. Not too far from our house. They have a pumpkin, I mean, a Christmas tree farm. And then back when Elijah was pretty little, they added in a pumpkin patch farm yeah. too. And so they start growing pumpkins. The homeschool group would go and do the pumpkin. They have lots of play things. Um, it's just the neatest place to go. It is. It's a very relaxing, just enjoyable place to go and sit and hang out and watch kids play. Yeah, and, yeah go sit at the picnic table, turn the kids loose, and just let them burn off some energy. Yeah, so we always, that was always our favorite field trip of the year, was going to the pumpkin patch, to Curry Farms. That's what, what it's called. Come here. And so um, we started going when... Come here. When Elijah was little, yeah. they started. They added the pumpkins in, and we just went year after year after year, and just kind of got to know Miss Mister and Miss Curry, and Mr. Um, Bentley. Just loved them. Just loved them to death. And um, then one year they got a new pup, and so Elijah was he was training dogs at that time, doing some dog training and agility classes. Agility classes, yeah. And stuff with his dog, and so. He wanted to go and help socialize and just train, help train their dog. And so I would take him on Sunday afternoons and he would work with their dog a little bit and I would get to visit Miss Curry. So it was a win-win for me. <laughs> and, um, and then he ended up, um, he ended up working for Miss Curry on the farm, the pumpkin patch. And um, the he, first year, though, he was just with Bella. Yeah, the first year he was really too young for her to hire him, but he did go and help wrangle um, Bear. It was Bear, Bear. then. Yeah, Bear yeah. too. The Great Pyrenees. Yeah, so he would go and just kind of trying to socialize the dog, but not let the dog just run wild. Was the idea? I don't know yeah. exactly how that went because <laughs> I wasn't there. But anyway, um, he enjoyed it. And then he um, was finally old enough to actually go work for her, mm -hmm. and he did. And he enjoyed that. He loves Mr. and Ms. Curry. Mm -hmm. um, I was telling him that Miss Curry took me to my doctor's appointment, and he said, oh. And he said, um, you know, he would like to visit with him when he comes in one day. So, yeah. He worked for them. Um, 
year after year until he graduated high school. Mm -hmm. One year he didn't work because he had stomach surgery and he couldn't work that yeah. year. He was he was recovering. But um, the other years he did work for her and he understands Miss Curry. Like he can read Miss Curry like um, and knows what she wants and expects and all that kind of stuff. So he's good. He always enjoyed working with her. Mm. But they are really, really great people. The times that we've been flooded out here, they've always given us a place to stay over there on the farm. And couldn't ask for better people. Yeah, we we're very thankful of that. The first time we flooded, we stayed in an RV. In 2016, when mm -hmm. we flooded, we um, ended up staying in an RV in a couple of towns over there, the same town that Big Daddy works in, so he was really close to work. But it was hard staying in an RV. It was hard. Cool. There was like no comfortable place to sit. It was, I mean, I'd go sit in the van because it was more comfortable than sitting in there. and four adults and two dogs, three dogs. Mm. One of them being a German Shepherd. We had, we had three dogs. We had a German okay. Shepherd, a Chewini, and Sophia. Yeah. And so <laughs> we didn't have German Shepherd at first. Yeah. She, she was at a friend's house until she she jumped on this little old weenie dog. Until she had issues over there. Then she yeah. had to come back to the RV. Then she got evicted. <laughs> So we stayed in that RV, and it was it was just very uncomfortable. It wasn't a comfortable place to sit or anything. And, I mean, it, it served its purpose, but yeah. it was a hard. As soon, soon as we got the house cleaned out, everything out of the house, the walls tore out and all that, I didn't go back. Like, we came one, one day to work, and I just didn't go back. I didn't have no clothes or nothing over here. And so they would go back to the house every night. I mean, to the RV every night. Yeah. And I would just stay here, me and Sophia. I had to work. Me and Sophia just stayed here. And I would tell them, you know, bring me, bring me some clothes, bring me whatever. And they brought me some stuff from the RV. But um, then I never went back to the RV. I never went back. Even when y'all went and cleaned it out and got everything out of it, I didn't go. <laughs> I know. So then eventually... Believe me, I know. I was staying here by myself. And they would go back and stay in the RV every night. And then eventually, I think Elijah started staying with me. Yeah, the boys wound up staying here. I think Elijah started staying with me. And then after a while, Dakota started staying here. And I don't know, it's a good while before he joined us at night. I he would go back to the RV every night. I had to get up. I got to go to Waffle House by myself. Oh, oh. Because, because, <laughs> because all his clothes were there. Yeah. And um, and he was right by his work. He wasn't far from his work at all. But anyway, he would come here and then he would just go there to sleep at night and we'd all go to bed. Anyway, but um, that was a hard time. And then after that, whenever the water would rise up so much that we couldn't get our vehicles in and out and we needed somewhere to stay, Miss Curry was quick to offer us to come and stay at a little house that they have there on their property. And so we would um, load up some furniture because we didn't want to lose our furniture and stuff mm -hmm. again. So we got real paranoid after 2016. Yeah, after, after our house flooded in mm -hmm. 2016, we was very paranoid. Every time it would rain hard, <laughs> I'd get to have a panic attack. And he still doesn't tell me when the when the WMA starts flooding on this end past our house, he don't tell me until after it goes down. He's like, oh, the water's going down. I'm like, what water? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So we stayed at, we've stayed there at the Curry Farms a couple of times when it was flooding and we couldn't get our vehicles in and yeah. out. So anyway, Miss Curry's very dear to our heart. Yeah, very dear. <laughs> and um, she did take me to my doctor's appointment week before last Oh, no. Yeah, when I went for a check with my hand. Okay. Yeah. 
And then you took me this past week when yeah. you took the stitches out, actually. But baby, come here, baby. Can you, baby? Oh, baby girl. Your mama's baby. You know it. She said, Yeah, but I have to share you with that sassy. She don't like to share me with sassy, do you? That ain't funny. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Yes, I'm going to go back to Big Daddy, trying to get her hand up under oh, his hand. Oh, no, you don't want over there now. Under his hand, so he'll pet her. No. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, old man, anything else you know to talk about? Nope. Nope. I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what do y'all have going on this week? What's your plans? I have, um, I do have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cabell. Oh. So I have an appointment on Tuesday, and then I have an appointment on Friday mm -hmm. in Shreveport. So, and then I think Zeke is going to come down and hang out with me Tuesday, and he can go to my doctor's appointment with me. And then, um, Thursday, Evie and Zeke are going to come down and hang out with me. So, what's your plans for the week? Work. <laughs> I know. Work and more work. <laughs> work, work every day. You yeah. have any special projects you're working on? Yeah. Yeah, I got that. Uh, what day is the 19th? Tuesday. Maybe. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, something due that day. Yeah, not due, but we have a meeting that day with the people in Florida. Oh. Well, you look like a leprechaun. Hmm? You look like a leprechaun. <laughs> I do with the beard and everything. Huh? Yeah. I like the only video y'all remember Kelly's Chili. And I had a leprechaun on the front of it. He looked kind of like that. Yeah. That's a long time ago. I don't know. A long time ago. I just really told my age with that one. Well, you know, when I was growing up, we didn't buy groceries. <laughs> yeah, I know. Y'all didn't. <laughs> we didn't buy groceries, so I don't know. Y'all's kitchen was for looks. <laughs> I don't know what. Um, here, why don't you go look in your fucking bed. I don't even know what groceries looked like then, really. Anyway. <laughs> uh. Poor thing. I forgot all about my coffee here. I was running my mouth. I have a Joann's Garn Hall for y'all tomorrow. And me and Big Daddy has a uh, Happy Mail video for y'all this week. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of crafty videos for y'all this week. And I'm going to be working on this every day this week too every night i'm gonna record working on this and show it to you the next morning <laughs> and then some days there'll be another videos most most days i've been trying to do a video in the mornings and a video in the mid afternoons anywhere around three to five six o'clock something like that just for the afternoon crowd and so there's been pretty much two videos a day most days not every day but sometimes <laughs> Anyway, I just enjoy videoing and chatting with you guys. Yep. And I hope that you do too. And let's see, anything else coming up? I don't know. March is just marching right on past us, ain't it? <laughs> I guess that's why they call it March. But... <laughs> it's marching on by. <laughs> yep. Your birthday's coming up. Yep. I have a birthday. I'll be catching up with Angela. But she's still older than me, even though we'll be the same age. She's still older than me. <laughs> when we were kids, I would lie about my age to be older than her. And then, that wasn't cool all of a sudden. I wanted to be younger than her. <laughs> we, we, to the point where we didn't even know how old we were. <laughs> we couldn't even remember what year we was born or anything. We was just so mixed up. We said so many different years. We're like, okay, what year was we born? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I'll be 53 
next month. And I know that is young. I know it is. Young? Well, it is. <laughs> My subscribers say it is. And so, um, but I feel old. <laughs> My soul feels old. My bones. But anyway, um, yeah, so I have a birthday blanket that I'm going to work on the month of October. I mean, no. October. <laughs> <laughs> then got you all flustered now. The month of April. I'm going to be working on a birthday blanket. That's what I'm going to call it. And so I'm going to show you this week in the Joann's Yarn Hall what I'm going to be using and kind of what I'm going to be making. So, yeah, and I have a couple crafty things that I'm going to be doing this week. Um... So, yeah, I'll just record it and share it with you guys. I was looking to see what Sassy's doing. She's just all into everything, anything she can get into. She's a crazy, crazy cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to get going. We will see y'all in the next video, or I will. I don't know about him, but I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. And remember, it's a beautiful day to crochet. Absolutely. Bye, Leprechaun.